Okay, here we are. Um, I'm going to explain to you how to do the um, Civil War breakout, digital breakout. So I'm gonna share my screen and bring that up so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I don't do this very often, so I'm hoping I can figure this out. So let me bring up digital breakout. Okay, so this is what you're gonna see when you fill, uh, get into it. Okay, so you're going to put your name in here, and then these first ones, the three-digit lock, the six-digit lock, the four-digit lock, those are going to be answered when you answer the other questions across the top. So, for example, if you look up here across the top, you can see there's some other ones with links. Important people, disadvantages and advantages, Civil War battles, and causes of the Civil War. When you do those, you will actually be able to fill these in later. Okay. So as you do this and submit it, I will be able to see it that you completed it. So let me walk you through. Let's go to Civil War, causes of Civil War first. Okay. So if you click on that, you're going to see all these different websites that you can pull up to find information. Okay. You're gonna to have to type in your name. And then you're gonna to have to fill in the answers. Question one, what was the name of the compromise made in 1820, right? So if you remember the compromise of 1820 also has the name of Missouri Compromise, okay? The fictional book written by the abolitionist brought to attention slavery, right? Uncle Tom's Cabin, Harriet Beecher Stowe. What year was it published? I just happen to know this because I'm a history teacher. It was in 1852. And then here we go, another compromise. This is the one that had the Fugitive Slave Act. So if you remember this one, uh, this is the compromise. And again, you're gonna have to do all caps. The Kansas and Nebraska Act was 1854. The name of the state, um, remember in the Missouri Compromise, Missouri became a slave state. What state became a free state? You can look that up and know it's Maine. And then on this, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to fill in just a short paragraph about the Dred Scott case. If you remember, Dred Scott was a slave that was taken to Minnesota in the North. And he thought that once he was taken to the North, he shouldn't be a slave anymore. And so they sued. And the Supreme Court said that slaves are property and that they can take it anywhere. They can take the slaves anywhere in the United States. So basically it said that the Compromise of 1820, the Missouri Compromise, was no longer uh, valid that you can take slaves anywhere, okay? All right, here we go. Question number six, which of these is not about slavery? Now, if you've been paying attention to all my assignments, you know the compromise, Missouri Compromise is about slavery. Compromise of 1850 is slavery. Kansas and Nebraska Act was about slavery. And all of those things were to avoid the Civil War. Emancipation Proclamation was during the Civil War. So that's your answer. So before you can go on, you have to write a short answer about Dred Scott. Don't write what I wrote because it won't get you
Okay. So causes a civil war for the breakout session. It says the Emancipation Proclamation was the document that Abraham Lincoln wrote that freed the slaves and the, and the Southern state, but not the border states. Your three digit clue is first number, the number of border states in the civil war. They're the ones that did not leave the union and the number of states that seceded and formed the Confederate States of America, okay? So all of those numbers are gonna go back on this part on the digital breakout, and you're gonna put it down here on the three digit lock. You have to do the same with the Civil War battles. Answer the questions, and then there's gonna be a place where you're gonna put in the Four, six digit all caps lock, Dis disadvantages and advantages, important people. You're going to do all the same thing. Once you have all of your locks done, this is why it's called a breakout, is because then you could get out of the room. It's like a, a, a breakout of a room. You have to do all the clues to be able to get out. Now, unfortunately, we're not in school right now, but if we were doing this at school, there would be actual locks that you would have to undo and they would get you out. I hope you're having fun. Uh, email me if you have any more questions. I really understand that this is not quite the assignment we should be doing uh, while we're uh, out, but uh, I think if you really, really look at it, and answer the questions and fill it in, you're gonna find that it's kind of fun. <laughs>